Okay, so you happen to have an i9 10850K or 10900K since they are basically the same thing except for 100 MHz and you want to get a bit more performance or maybe the same performance while dramatically reducing the temperature and your power draw, well, it's the right tutorial. Let's get into the BIOS and let's get straight into undervolting it. Okay, so for today's video, we are using a MSI MAG Z490 Tomahawk, but really you can use whichever motherboard you have. This will work for everyone. Just the names will be a bit different. So once you're in the BIOS, you wanna go on advanced mode and now we're gonna go on the overclocking or AI tuner section. Also be sure to have your XMP enabled for your RAM. Now, once we're here, we want to set our overclocking explore mode to expert. And at this point, we want to go on advanced CPU configuration. So the first step of our tutorial is going to be to completely unlock all the power limits. So if you go down here, you will see long duration power limit uh, and then long duration maintained and all those things. And you basically want to hit all nines on everyone as to just fully unlock it. And here you want to go all the way down. So in this case, to 128 to fully unlock it. So just set the maximum everywhere, as you can see. Nice. And now we go back to the initial place, right here. We keep going down. If you have a cooler tuning, set it to your appropriate cooler. I have a water cooler, so I'm setting it to water cooler. Now we go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, okay. Until we find something called CPU core voltage mode. Now in here, we set it to offset mode. And then we set the mode to minus because we want it to be a negative offset to run at a lower voltage because we are under volting it. And then on the offset, we set zero. Wait, let me show it to you better right there. We set 0 0.05 right there. At this point, we hit F10 and the tutorial is done because you hit yes to apply and it will uh, apply these settings. But in case you want to spend a couple extra seconds to learn uh, how you can improve this a bit more, here we are. So if you have a very good power supply and a very good CPU, you might be able to go as far as to 0 0.075, but this would require some testing, okay? 0 0.05 will work for everyone, okay? Now, if you wanna go down even further, what you can do is start reducing the CPU multipliers. So by doing that, you go all the way on top and on CPU ratio, you can set whatever multiplier you want. Um, but this really is only recommended if you're doing uh, productivity or like stuff in which you need just an old core um, offset. So in general, just copy these. And if you apply a CPU ratio, which is good for gaming, and is, but it's not fine for productivity, you can just give it a bit of an offset on AVX, like a minus one or minus two. Okay, so like with a minus two, we could set this thing um, to like uh, 48 there. And that's this on my CPU, this will work perfectly fine. So you could try things like this out, but I just recommend for most of you that you just input the offset down there and then unlock the power limits and you will be golden. So if this was useful, please drop a like and a comment and see you in the next one, guys. Bye.